everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my artsy endeavors. Have fun. Hey guys, Cindy Otter here with my Artsy Endeavors. Guess what time it is? It's time for Explorations of Me. Now, for this month, hmm, I'm, I got myself a double spread here. Uh, for this month, your prompt is one household chore that you could get better at. My motorcycle wings just fell down at me. Um, one household chore that you could get better at. All right. I'm going to tell you right now what mine is, is cleaning. My house is not filthy, but I definitely could do more cleaning. Maybe I should change that. Not really cleaning, dusting. I'm not a duster. I don't like dusting. It annoys me. Um, so I don't ever do it. <laughs> Isn't that awful? Um, and when I do have to do it, what I do is I go through the entire room and I dust everything. All the little fixed, all the little um, whatever's as, as I have in the room, all the little knickknacks and the furniture and the tops of the tables and the tops of the dressers and any goodies that are hanging around. But let me tell you, I just, yeah, I don't enjoy doing that. I really don't. It's not fun to me. So, I don't know what's up with this. Maybe it's just me today. I'm trying to get this matte medium to hold stuff down. I don't know if I'm not using enough of it or what's the deal? So, that is my chore, my one household chore. Um, I'm going to say cleaning, but in, in, that, in that relation, it's dusting. I'm not a duster. Don't like doing it doesn't make any sense because 10 minutes after you do it things are dusty again so what's the sense right anyways that is my household chore so I'm really excited to see what yours is um, you know and, and just you know be honest with yourself if yours is you know mopping the floors put you know do mopping the floors um, if yours is doing laundry that I consider that a household chore um, whatever the case may be, go ahead and make your page, um, all around that, around that household chore. The one that you could get better at. And you know, another one, if I ever, this is just a little, if I ever, if I ever won the lottery, one of the first things I would do is hire a cook. I want somebody to make me three square meals a day that are healthy that are you know good that have wonderful taste to them i would hire a cook in a heartbeat and you know what at that point then i would also hire somebody to dust for me <laughs> i don't mind cleaning you know i don't mind cleaning the bathrooms and changing the sheets and all that happy stuff i, I don't mind that but when it comes to dusting yeah it's just not not in my I like it plan. So um, what I'm going to do, I'm just starting off with just some collage. This is just some scraps that I pulled out of my scrap drawer that I'm throwing down here. And um, I'm going to go ahead and finish up this collage. And then I'm going to fast forward through this process uh, so you guys can see what we end up with. And I hope you guys enjoy. So we will chat with you at the end. Enjoy. All right, guys, so where were we? Um, we were talking about dusting. I'm not a duster. I just, I despise that job. All right, it is the next day, so um, I apologize if I say something I already said yesterday, but um, <clears throat> yeah, my in-laws got back last night from their snowbirds. They go down south for the winter. Anyways, they got back last night, so I got interrupted doing this, which is cool, not a problem. All right, I wanted to show you guys. These are new paints that I found when I was down in North Carolina. I got them at Jerry's Artorama. And, of course, you guys know I love my paint. But the reason I picked these up, because I promised myself I wasn't going to buy any more paint, but these um, 
fluorescent colors are opaque which is n I don't believe easy to find at least I've never found them so I'm really excited to play so we're gonna play while we're doing our page about dusting and um, oops oh, we got lots of paint there they they seem to be like they're like a, a lighter uh, thinner consistency so I mean you can make them transparent like I just did apparently or yeah transparent here's my question how come they're not going like they did before well this is kind of strange these are supposed to be opaque but as you can see maybe it's because I'm just doing the first coat and it's light I don't know let's find out we need more more paint more paint I don't know what it is about paint but yeah I love all kinds of paint I love to see what I can do with it but this paint we're gonna give it a background so it looks like I lied they don't look opaque on here ha 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 Bright opaque colors that can be used on most porous surfaces. Hmm, interesting. That's alright, we're still going to play. Transparent or opaque, it doesn't matter. We're playing in the explorations of me. So, um, what, you know, like I said, when it comes to household chores, I mean, I don't, I don't mind cleaning. Not that it's my most favorite job to do. Um, my house is definitely not... It gets cleaned, let's put it that way. It's not filthy, but I have cobwebs here and there that, you know, they grow. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we have to get them taken down every now and then. Yeah, I like that. Isn't that pretty? love the color. But I'm really, I'm, huh, I'm really wondering about these because they are supposed to be opaque. We got blue. Let's throw a little bit of this magenta on here. And let's see. Yeah. Like it. That's better. See, that's more of it. But it's still, even still, it's still a type of transparent. Huh. I'm just kind of surprised now. The reason I bought these is because they said they were opaque. But you know what? It's all good. It's all good. Na -na 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 -na. For some reason, I've had that running around in my head. I used, I was doing that down in North Carolina. Carla's like, nan -na 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 -na. <laughs> It's just, it happens! You ever get that? I think they call them, what do they call them? A, a earwig or something? Um, when you get a song that goes over and over and over and over and over and over in your head. And it never stops. So anyway, um, like I said, dusting is not my thing. Cleaning I prefer not to do, but I have to. So, I like this. I'm liking this color. So, I'm going to cover up all that blue. I wasn't going to, but I, I just, I kind of like this. I like what it's doing. We're going to keep my name uncovered. Why not? So, we're going to have a busy, busy weekend. Got my grandbaby coming up. We got people coming in from out of state. It's gonna be busy. Crazy busy weekend. I think grandma's grandbaby's having grandma withdrawals. She calls me up, Grandma, I need to come up. <laughs> okay, so I get to pick her up after school tomorrow. Alright, so we put a nice first coat of non-opaque paints on. That's okay. Um, let me dry this up and I'll be right back. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I don't know why, but okay. I didn't do anything more to my page yet, right? We're going to set that aside. And this, I found this, um, actually Tuesday morning. It was on clearance and I just, I thought it was a really cool texture. So what I'm going to do, and here's a couple more that I found these. I got for a buck at some reuse store or whatever. Um, I have a bunch of yarn here. Well, I have some pieces of muslin here that I'm just going to cut. And I'm actually going to make them semi-circles. They don't have to be perfect. 
but can you guess what I'm making? I probably could just go out in the living room and find some, but I'm going to make some. I'm going to make some dust balls. Dust balls. Why not? I can, and it's fun. And, um, yeah, why not? Let's just take them like this. We're just going to cut some circles. Do a few at a time. Why not? So we are making, we are going to make some dust balls. <laughs> I know I'm a little bit crazy, guys. Can't help it. I can't help it. It's just the way my mind goes. So what I'm going to do. Got three more. Oh, we only need a couple more. All right. Set that one aside. All right. So I am going to take some of this yarn. First, I'm going to grab some clear glue. Hang on just a second. Oh, I forgot to grab it. This is just um, Aileen's clear, clear gel tacky glue. Uh, see? And what I want to do, actually, before I put the glue down, let me get some dust made here. Have my ice pack on my back. Let me tell you, my trip home, my back is not happy. It's been very, very painful. <sighs> but it is what it is, right? All right, so I just wrap that around my finger. I'm going to cut it once, cut it twice, three, four times. Right, so there's the start of our dust. Let's get some more dust here. I'm going to cut these up into dust and then I'll be right back and I'll show you how we're going to put our dust balls together. Be back in a minute. All right, so I cut off some of that other, some of this, this yarn, cut off some edges of it, and we're going to make some dust balls. Um, before we do this, I want to color these. I don't want to keep them um, the, the color. Ugh. The color of the what do you call it muslin so i'm going to paint them pink because i really want them to kind of set you know um stay on the background and not show up real strong oh, got lots of them there. so what we're going to do is just paint them pink real quick they don't have to be perfect just something so that they mix in with the background going to have some dust balls. All right. Now let's take some of this tacky glue and I'm just going to kind of go around. Maybe. If it wants to come out. Oh my God, is that slow? Ugh. And then we are just going to put some dust on here. There's one dust ball. Yay! <laughs> I love it. Okay, so there's one dust ball. Let's make a couple more. Come here, you. All right, let me make these up and then we'll go on and continue with our page. I'll be right back. All right, so we got the dust balls made. We're gonna bring them back out in a second, but in the meantime, I need some, I want some white gesso. A little bit of white gesso. And what I wanna do is I wanna kinda rough up this page a little bit. I don't know how to explain what I wanna do, but I don't want all this color. So I'm gonna take, uh, if I could find on my palette knife. Uh, Alright, I'm going to take my palette knife. I'm going to throw a little bit of paint down. Or gesso, I mean. And we're going to scratch it around. Because 
I just want a little bit of the color. Just changed a little bit, lighten up here and there maybe. color because this just isn't working yet for me and before I put these on I want this to be working let me dry this up I'm gonna find another color to put down on this to kind of make it a little bit different than it is and uh, I'll be right back with that all right so I pulled out a couple more paints didn't get this dry all the way but that's okay um, I got some Dina Wakely paints I got blackberry violet and some sky and I'm just gonna keep playing because like I said right now I'm not happy with where this is so we're just gonna Darken it up in a few spots and oh no, don't tell me it's almost gone. Oh, whew, got some. Thank you. I got all excited there for a second. I thought I might have to go buy some more Dina Weekly paint. It's not like I don't have enough, but you know. Alright, so let's just that one's coming up too. Do, 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 do. Gotta love the glue stick. Perfect. All right. So we're just gonna kind of round about here. There we go. I feel like I'm already liking this better. I'm breaking up that pink and just ugh. Yeah, we gotta break it up. <laughs> I love pink and I love me some purple, but yeah, not all. Oh, by the way, I haven't told you guys yet. Um, when this comes out, you'll. Well, I don't have my appointment's not done yet. I'm changing up my hair color. Ha! Ah, it's gonna be a surprise. Changing it up. <coughs> All right, now let's put some of the sky blue and let's see how much we can pop this. Let's see what happens. Yeah, that makes me happier. not really blue because I'm mixing it with the purple thing, but that's okay. This makes me happy. Let me put this down here. Making me happy. And that's what exploration to me is all about. Make yourself happy. You know, enjoy what you're doing. If you don't enjoy the process of what you're doing, then why are you doing it? Um, you know, I've had people ask me, how do you, you know, how do you let go and just do? And you know, I'm not looking for a specific outcome. I'm enjoying what I'm doing when I play. And for me, that's what it's all about. I'm not about, um, you know, I have to have it perfect so, you know, I can make a print and sell it or sell the piece online or whatever. That's not what my creativity is about. My creativity is about um, helping me deal with the pain and learning I just I love to learn I love to play with things and I'm always learning and I've been that way since I was really little I just I like to learn and if I get doing one thing long enough uh, I get really bored at it so mixed media is ideal because there's always so much to learn and I love it I love the fact that today I can be sitting here playing with paints tomorrow I can sit here and just draw or color or use markers or whatever I want and and that's what I find so intriguing about mixed media but anyways we're getting off track here we're gonna talk about where we're gonna put down our dust balls I love them all right let me dry this real quick I'll put these away um, now with my dust balls I found this in my cutouts and I thought oh my gosh she's perfect because when it comes to dust balls, this is what happens to my hair. It's like, oh, I don't want to do that. Anyways, this says Survivor. And that just kind of ties into, um, you know, where my art takes me. So this is uh, Dina, Wait, uh, Dina uh, Diane Reevely um, stamp. 
So if you guys uh, are interested in her, it says courage, and then she's got uh, never give up, never give up, never give, never, never, never in nothing, something, something. Um, but she actually wrote in here, and basically it's never get up, never give up. So I want to take her, and I'm gonna let this dry. I might as well do it. Hang on, I gotta sit back. Ouch! Ouch! Sorry. Hold on. Me and my squeaky chair. I gotta find a new chair. All right, I'm gonna take these are uh, Jane Davenport's watercolors, mermaid, whatever they are. I'm not sure, but um, they're her watercolors. So what I want to do is just play around with this and color it in and have fun with it. And while I'm doing this, um, I will put it on fast forward. We'll be back. So um, I've got her painted and I'm just going to set her aside. Now I've got out my archival ink and I've got a stamp that I want to use. And it just kind of looks like a dust bowl to me. Why not? Right? And it doesn't have to be perfect. Just add some more to the background. Alright, now let's make a small one, just using up the ink that I've got on there. It's all gone. Now let's take a small one. Let's see what we've got in this bucket here. These are the ones I use the most. That's why they're in the, well, when I don't feel like digging out all my other stamps, these are the ones I use. There's one too. Okay. So here's another one. This is, it's actually a little cog, but that's okay. It looks like a, looks like a little dust ball. Doesn't it? Does in my world. <laughs> Just one more. Okay. 
like it. And then I've got a little bit bigger one. This one needs to be wiped off. Okay. All right. And again, we're just gonna just have some dust around the edges, right? I love playing in this Explorations of Me book. Um, you know, it's just so freeing because one, it's a composition notebook. It's not a real expensive art journal, um, which even though it doesn't matter, I enjoy playing. But um, it's just so nice because you can just, just play. And I love it. All right, so here's my girl. She's going to go right here along with my name. And here's my dust balls. So let's get these dust balls put down. I'm actually going to use this clear tacky glue again and hopefully get enough on here so that it will keep the dust ball in line. There's one dust ball. <laughs> I love them. You know, I gotta find a little bit of white to put in. I wish, um, I'm thinking. I don't really want to spray them. I'll use a paintbrush. We have a little bit of weight on our dust balls. Oops. Back up there, you. Aren't they cool? The dust is flying. <laughs> Love them. Love them. Okay. Here's my dust balls. It's got wood in it. I don't know how it got wood in it, but it did. All right. I love them. Now, because I did her with the Jane Davenport watercolor pen, watercolor pens, I have to get out my trusty little Xyron and make her a sticker. Let's move her over. Gonna put her in, make her slot the other side a sticker, and then just and all you're doing when you do this is you're just making sure the adhesive um, sticks to the back of her so that you can make her a sticker. So we're gonna move this, take off the plastic covering, throw it away. And this paper that she's on is a, a wax paper, makes a fantastic paint palette. Like if you've got a kit, um, you know, when you're traveling or whatever and you need something light and that makes a perfect paint palette. All right, so here she goes. There she is. I love her, I love her. All right, and it also makes a great non-stick if you're doing like little pearls and you want to make little pearls either out of um, nail polish or um, anything. It just, it makes, huh, it makes um, a great non-stick surface. So, all right, let me grab, I got to grab my white pen and I want, do I want this? Yeah, let's use this. Let me grab my pen. I'll be right back. Okay, so I had to get up and walk around for a bit because I'm a hurting unit. So anyways, um, decided I'm just going to play along with this edging. There's something about dots. I don't know what it is, but I just I love doing dots. And my phone is going crazy. I'm sorry, guys. Let me shut it off. That way it won't be ping-ponging like crazy. So, we, you know, this was, you know, I, I know I've went off track, but, you know, there's just a whole lot you can say about dusting. <laughs> um, but I have my little dust balls on my page. And, like I said, that is 
a chore. If I had to get better at one, that's one I really need to get better at. But you know what? Tis what it is. Um, at this point, you know, we deal with it. My hubs is really good about helping me when I have to do a, you know, a total house clean and uh, dusting and mopping and sweeping and vacuuming and that's just kind of stuff that I can't do like I used to be able to do it. I can remember I would take a Saturday and just go through the entire house and clean the entire house once a week, every Saturday. And yeah, that doesn't happen anymore. But you know what? It's all good. There. Now just a little bit of white. Maybe. Maybe not. Ooh. No, nope, this is not going to let me do the white there, which is okay. That's fine. Let's clean that off real quick. All right. So, kind of a strange page, but she was fun to do. Let's see. I just want to add some more yellow in here. So it's not just this one thing that's yellow. Let's throw some more yellow down. I love the different layers, the different textures that are on this page, which I think is a lot of fun. Um, just having a lot of fun with it. So I can't wait to see what you know your chore is. That if you could get better at one chore, which one would it be? Um, you know, I'd love to see. And just play. Use your imagination and just play with your supplies. Um, you know, I did a lot of talking about other things, but that's okay. I mean, you know, you guys know that I use my art to deal with the pain. Um, and this was just a day that I needed to deal with some pain. And I had a lot of fun doing it. So I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, as always, like, comment, and share, and subscribe. Check out the artists in the links below because they're all going to give you their take on what chore do they feel they need to, um, or if they needed to, they could get better at. All right? Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, hit like, share, comment. I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions. Um, and as always, be kind, have fun, that's what life's all about, and happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye!